This is a planet of makers. We make stuff, and to do that, we transform raw materials into products we use. This process also creates waste that is often toxic, hard to purify, and utilize for a useful purpose. But sometimes the waste can be useful. In fact, some of the wastes of industrial processes are very valuable substances, like glycerol, for example. Glycerol is an alcohol containing three hydroxyl groups and is an important intermediate in food, chemical, and pharmaceutical industries. However, when the biodiesel boom started, the market became flooded with glycerol, since it is a byproduct of biodiesel production. In a reaction called transesterification, triglycerides react with alcohol to give ethyl esters of fatty acids and glycerol. For every 9 kilograms of biodiesel produced, about 1 kilogram of crude glycerol byproduct is formed. And because glycerol is expensive to purify for use in the food, pharmaceutical, or cosmetics industries, biodiesel producers must seek alternative methods for its disposal. Now, people started wondering, how do we solve this problem? You could transform glycerol into other valuable substances, like 1,3-propane-diol, hydrogen, polyglycerols, succinic acid, and polyesters. Let's take a closer look at the conversion to 1,3-propane-diol. A bacteria takes in glycerol and transforms it through its metabolism to propane-diol and water. This is an extremely simplified example, but it will demonstrate the principle how we can use this valuable and energy-rich substance to add value to the biodiesel production, thus making it more feasible. There is no one big solution to the energy and climate crises, rather many small ones. Bioconversion of glycerol just might be one of the many small steps on the path towards a sustainable future.